Tourism for Beginners. Questions and answers. Question fourteen: Why is the initial turning of the Dharma wheel considered so important? The Buddha's initial turning of the Dharma wheel at Sarnath was a major event in Buddhism. From that moment, Buddhism was established, and the three gems were complete. Question fifteen: What are the three gems? They refer to the gem of the Buddha, the awakened one. The gem of the Dharma, the teachings given by the Buddha, and the gem of the Sangha, the order of the Buddha's monastic disciples. The three are called gems because they can lead people to seize evil and accomplish good, to free themselves from suffering and obtain happiness. They are rare and precious. When the Buddha first turned the Dharma wheel, his five followers took refuge in him. And formed the sangha. From that moment, the three gems were all in place. Question sixteen: What is to take refuge? Taking refuge means to turn towards and rely on completely spirit and body. Those who have taken refuge in the three gems are Buddhists. Question seventeen. Did many take refuge in the three gems during the Buddha's lifetime? Yes. After the Buddha's initial turning of the Dharma wheel, many people took refuge as he gave his teachings from Sarnath to Magadha State. Among them, there were three brothers with the family name of Kasyapa, who used to be Zoroastrians, but they abandoned their original faith. And led more than a thousand of their followers to take refuge in Buddhism. After the Buddha arrived in Rajgir, the capital of Magadha, many more took refuge, including renowned disciples such as Sariputra, Moggallana, and Kasyapa. Afterwards, when the Buddha returned to his hometown, his younger half brother Nanda, his cousins Ananda and Devadatta. And his son Rahula all followed him and became monastic disciples. The Buddhist aunt Prajapati also took refuge to become the first female monastic disciple. Even more people took refuge in the three gems without renouncing lay life. Question eighteen: Whether male or female, one can choose to learn the Dharma with or without taking monastic vows? Yes, Buddhism's male monastics are called bhikkhus, and female monastics are called bhikkhunis. Male and female lay followers are called upasaka and upasika, respectively. Together, they are known as the four groups of disciples. Question nineteen: Where did Shakyamuni Buddha travel and teach during his lifetime? Mainly in central India, the places the Buddha resided for most of his lifetime were Rajgir and Travasti, in the states of Magadha and Kosala, respectively. Outside Rajgir was a bamboo forest, donated to the Buddha and his disciples by King Bimbisara. It was later known as Bamboo Grove Monastery. In Travasti, Prince Jetta of Kosala. And a rich merchant, Sudatta, together gave the Buddha a garden, subsequently named Jetta Grove Monastery, Kichakuta Hill, Vulture Peak, south of Rajgir, was another place where the Buddha gave many discourses. Shakyamuni Buddha taught the Dharma for forty-nine years, until he passed into Nirvana at the age of eighty. Question twenty. What is Nirvana? Nirvana is a state that is very hard to describe with words. It carries the meanings of extinction, cessation, non-birth, inaction, peace and joy, liberation and death. It also connotes elimination of the karma of birth and death, transcendence of the rebirth cycle, 
perfection of wisdom and virtue, and achievement of an eternal, quiescent, steady and joyous state of liberation. Such a state can only be known by sacred beings. It cannot be measured with concepts such as present, absent, coming and going. It is an unfathomable state of liberation. To describe it thus with words is already very inaccurate. The state of liberation is an actual experience obtained through spiritual practice in accordance with the Dharma. It cannot be deduced by the logic of worldly thinking. Namo Amitabha Buddha Namo Amitabha Namo Nah.